Hi lads, what's the crack? Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. One of the su subscribers there on the channel got in contact with me on Facebook and said, I tie flies, would you mind giving my flies a go? And I goes, of course I can. I'd love that. I sure, flies to me is just like winning the jackpot. So thanks very much. Lewis Porter on Facebook, lads. He ties flies, they're gorgeous flies. So check out his page. He sent me down a dozen or so little spiders and beaded, beaded spiders and stuff like that. Little wet flies for the river basically. Now, I know the trout in this river are going to go crazy for them. They're savage little flies. So for the plan, I'm going to be using my 9 foot, 5, 6 weight fly rod with some floating line to about 8 foot, 6 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm going to tie on two of the little flies there. Um, I have the waders on with me. Kitted out today. <laughs> going off on an adventure. I'm going to head down the side of the river. Hopefully I get a few fish to show you, so enjoy today's video. Now so lads, I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but that's what I have on the point. It's like a little beaded spider, and then about a foot or two above it. I'm going to be using two little wet flies, so I have another little spider just above it. So they're about a foot and a half apart. Fished on a floating line to about a seven or eight foot liter, six pound maximum fluorocarbon. It's a five to six foot fly rod. So. That's the crack, we'll give it a go. Fish on. First fish, and Lumis just flies. Oh, he came off. <laughs> First fish is lost anyway. <laughs> we got that one out of the way. Fish on. First fish and loose the flies. Oh, he came off again. That's two fish after being lost. And that was actually a nice fish. Oh, we'll stay going and try to get a few more. Oh, I'm good. Fish on. <laughs> he just took it out of nowhere. He's only a little guy. Jumping all over the place. Let's get him in. Wet the hand in the water. He's only a little guy. Now, first fish on his flies. There it is in the corner of his mouth. Pops straight out. After losing a load of fish, this is the first one, came into the hand. Let's get him released. Now, away he goes, good stuff. Fish on. Another fish on Lucy's thighs. Lovely brownie, went for it a few times. Let's try to get him in. Full of energy. Ah, sweat the hands. Oh. Finally, second fish after missing a load. This one's a little bit better than the first guy. Stunning wild rainbow or brown trout. <laughs> rainbow in my head for some reason. We're we'll after a beauty. Let's get him released. Off he goes. Now, that guy took the point fly. I'll try to get it out of the water and show you. Covered in weed because I had it dropped down. It was at the bottom of the river there while I was landing him, so it's covered in weed. That's it there. Little beaded spider kind of style. Everything seems to be hitting that one so far. So we'll say go and see if we can get one or two more. Push on. Better than the first two anyway. Beauty. Wet the hand in the water. 
I'm getting. No, that is a better trout than the first two. There's the fly in the corner of his mouth. On the top lip, slips straight out. So handy. It's a beauty of a fish. Flies are doing the job anyway. Getting hits left, right and centre. This guy took it just in the middle of the river up there. Just under the surface. Off he goes. Love it. Fish on. Oh, he jumped out of the water and shook the hook. Ha oh, ha, losing so many fish this evening. But um, we'll stay going. Fish on straight away. Just change the fly. This little guy. Oh, what a jump. It's actually probably probably the best fish of the session so far. Try to get him in. What of them coming off? Oh, he's a dewy. Oh, he's savage. On the new fly. Corner the mouth. I just changed to a bit more of a golden bead with a yellowish body. That's savage. Look at that for a fish. Unreal. Now guys, let's get this little guy released after a great little fight. Stunning little river trout on the new flies. Off he goes. Now, absolutely delighted with that. The flies are working a treat. I'm losing a lot of fish, but I just realized the flies are barbless, so that explains that. So, really good fun so far. Now, so lads, having really good fun with the fly rod this evening. I'm losing more fish than I'm landing, but surely it doesn't matter, it's all catch and release. Um, I'm working my way upstream, as you can see there in the background. I have to walk in the whole way up there. I have the waders on, so it's all a bit of crack. Um, I'm going to go up a bit further, see if I can meet one or two more before I have to go home. I have maybe a half an hour left of light. Really good fun this evening. It's on. Lovely stuff. Again on the point fly. Get this guy in. Like the hands. Lovely stuff. These flies are working a treat. Look at that. In the corner of the mouth, there's the new fly. Beautiful. It's getting released. Just pops straight out. So handy with the barbless. There he is. <laughs> released himself. Saves me the effort. Lads, if anyone doesn't have a pair of waders and they're fishing the river, I definitely recommend picking up a pair. You can get a cheap enough pair of chest sweaters and it just lets you access all these little spots up along the river. There's no paths there, so there's no way you'll be able to fish these places without the waders. Um, and just be careful when you're using them. You know, don't go anywhere that looks deep because it probably is deep and don't take the chances when you're by yourself. You can definitely maneuver your way up along the sides. It's always shallower along the sides in the river, basically. Um, but just keep an eye on where you're going. That's the only thing I'd say. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend a pair of chest waders. Fish on. Oh. I was putting the sunglasses on my head and the fish took the fly. <laughs> now, just work my way up along the river. I love this wild fishing. It's so hard to beat it.
fish on, guys. Whoa. It's going mad. Try again. He took it out an hour. I was not expecting him. Oh, he's off. Oh, he was a really nice fish. He took it on the blind. Yeah, I hope you can see that now. The camera's kind of wet. Now, let's stay going. Light's nearly gone, but uh, I've only been on the river for about two hours. Loads of action on the new flies. So much fun. Fish on. I hit the fly the second I hit the water. Brownie jumping all over the place. Really cool. Let's get him in. Oh, it's a beauty. Wet the hands in, in the water. Look how fat he is. Off he goes. It's nice and relief. Now lads, the light is nearly gone. So I'm just gonna make myself, I'll make my way back to the car there now. Had a really good session. You know, just getting out for the evening, it's always enough with the fly fishing. The river comes to life in the evening. There's a load of, there's a load of insects hatching out and the trout just go mad. So, really enjoying the evening sessions. I finished work roughly at like four or five o'clock, so it's nice to be able to get out for a few hours. Especially when it's too windy to get out on the lake. It's hard to beat the river. Now so, the number one fans of the channel. Hello. Who? <laughs> the great crack. Now, on we go. Now so lads, just gonna end the video here. I got stuck talking to one of the lads in the car park while fishing for about an hour there. And it's pitch black outside, so it's probably time to go home. Um, I really enjoyed this evening's session using Lewis's flies, um, really, really nice flies. Lewis Porter on Facebook, if you're looking for any flies tied up, um, really nice guy. Thanks so much for sending me down the flies, I really appreciate it. It was a nice gesture and uh, best to look with the flies. So thanks very much for watching lads. Um, I love fishing the river, a bit of fly fishing. Um, it's nice to get into the river as well using the waders. It's great crack, you go off on an adventure there for the evening and just unwind. It's, it's really nice fishing. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, the, the channel's growing really fast and I really appreciate all the comments and I go through them all, so thanks very much. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you out here next time.